new questions about her investigation and the charges she brought. CNN Justice correspondent uh, Evan Perez has been working his sources in Baltimore. He joins me now with breaking news on a number of fronts. A lot to talk to you about, Evan. Your sources are saying right. they have questions about the medical examiner's report. What have you learned? Well, Anderson, we're beginning to see the ways in which the fact that there were two separate investigations, one done by the police department and homicide detectives there and by the state attorney's office uh, to, to try to exploit uh, the, the differences between the two investigations and perhaps weaken the state's uh, effort to prosecute these six officers. Uh, we're told that the investigators of the police department uh, were under the impression that the medical examiner's findings were going to be short of a homicide. If you recall, that's one of the key findings from the state attorney, uh, Marilyn Mosby, she said it was a hom homicide, a ruling from the medical examiner, which led her to bring the most serious charges. Uh, we're told that the uh, police investigations just simply do not uh, support the most serious uh, charges that are being brought against uh, the officers. That is a second degree murder charge. Uh, at most, what they were looking at is manslaughter. Now, I should add that the medical examiner's office has told us uh, that uh, they only reached one conclusion in this case, and that this was a homicide. They had uh, police officers there getting briefed along the way, but they only made one conclusion. We also got a statement from Marilyn Mosby's office. Now, she says she's not going to litigate this case in the media, and she defended her case, Anderson. Evan, you're also getting some new details about Mosby's top investigator. What can you tell us about that? Well, one of her top investigators, uh, a man by the name of Avon Mackle, he is a former Baltimore cop. Now, in 2009, he was demoted uh, after he failed to follow up on some reports, uh, some very serious crime reports in his central district here in uh, downtown Baltimore. Uh, also in 2009, there was a drunken incident at his home in Baltimore County. The SWAT team had to come out. According to a police report, uh, which we received today, uh, the SWAT team arrived and he was very upset. He, was, uh, he had his gun in his hand. They had to use a taser uh, to try to calm the situation. Now, he was not arrested, uh, Anderson, and, but the question that arises from this is whether Mackle has uh, any kind of beef with the Baltimore Police Department, uh, and if that is, is, is why uh, he was uh, helping uh, to bring these most serious charges against these officers. It's interesting that this information is being leaked out. I mean, people clearly leak when they have a reason to leak or an objective or, or they want to get something across. So I guess it raises questions about why would people be leaking this information out? Or are they trying to certainly just discredit, certainly the investigator in this case, who's working for the state's attorney? But I also understand another defense attorney has filed a motion demanding to see the knife that Mr. Gray carried. Well, absolutely. I mean, what you're seeing happening is the beginnings of, of how uh, the defense lawyers, frankly, for the for these officers, is going to is going to defend them. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, uh, again, this is a, a matter of the differences between the state investigation and the police investigation. The police investigation found that uh, the, the the knife that was found on Freddie on Freddie Gray uh, was a violation of the city code. If you remember, Marilyn Mosby said uh, that the whole basis of her case. For frankly, uh, is the fact that these officers had no reason to arrest Freddie Gray because the knife he had on him uh, was not illegal in the state of Maryland. So that's a discrepancy now that these lawyers are trying to exploit. They have already filed two, two, uh, two lawyers representing two of these officers have filed these motions uh, to try to get access to more information about the knife. Uh, we also know another uh, lawyer has filed a motion to try to get notes from the police investigation. Again, they're trying to figure out a way to exploit differences between the two investigations, Anderson. All right, Evan, I appreciate the, uh, the reporting. Thank you.